All right, welcome to uh, part four. Before we get started, I um, just want to review. So in part three, what we did was we set up our empty and our pickup items so that when you go around and you, uh, basically with your good guy, when you run into the item, it will pick it up and it'll count it. So up in the top where it says empty items, you can see that it equals five. That's how many I picked up. All right. Okay, so in part four, what we're going to be doing is creating a new scene and then advancing to the next level. So we're going to create basically the next level. Up here, you can see that it says scene. Go ahead and left click up there and type in level one. And you're going to type it in uh, all under case and then no spaces. And then go ahead and click the plus sign and click new. And we're going to name this one um, Level 2. That'll be all lowercase and then no spaces. So let's go back to Level 1. What we're going to do is we're going to add these objects into Level 2. So what you want to do is hold Shift and you're going to right click and you want to select one of your pickup items you want to select your main character. Go ahead and select the uh, maze. Select your empty. And you want to also select your camera. So hold shift, select the camera. Okay. And then in order to get them to level two, what you have to do is hold control L together. That was L like love. And that'll bring up the make links window. And you want to select objects to scene and select level 2. And now if we go to level 2 you'll see that all of those items that we had selected are now in level 2. Okay. Uh, one thing that I noticed last year if uh, you select your pickup item and you move him and then we go to level 1 you'll see that it'll be moved in level 1. Uh, so to fix this, what you need to do is select your pickup item, and you're going to do Shift D, okay, and right-click on the original item that was there that we duplicated, and delete it. And you'll know, you'll be able to tell because if you move it here, it won't move here, all right, in level one. And you want to do that with your main character as well. So duplicate it, delete the original, okay, and you can also do that with the empty. Alrighty, okay, so once you have that set up, um, you also want to make sure that your camera is there. So hit zero on your number pad, you should be able to see through your camera. And once you have that, you're good to go. So let's go back to level one and you're going to right click on your empty and we've got to do some stuff to get it set up correctly okay so what we are going to do is let's go from default and go back into the game logic and if you haven't already let's go ahead and minimize these sensors controllers and actuators that are already in there okay we're going to be adding new sensors controllers and actuators so where it says add sensor, go ahead and click on that and you're going to select property and you want the prop to say items. So you're going to click on the box and select items and we want it to have a value of 5. Okay. Click on the controller and select and and then go ahead and link those up and also click on your actuator. We're going to add an actuator and it's going to be a scene actuator. Link up your controller and your actuator. And where it says scene, instead of restart, we don't want to restart the scene, we want to set the scene. And we want to select level 2. So what we're telling it is that for our sensor, when our sensor senses that five items have been selected or picked up, that it's going to change the scene to level two. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is minimize this. And let's go ahead and 
make sure you're on level one and let's try it out. So you want to be able to press play. You should be able to pick up five items and it should go to the next scene. Okay. And your next scene will look like this. Okay, so that worked. Um, if you have issues with it, number one, you want to make sure that your sensors and controllers and actuators are all connected. Uh, check your spelling. That sometimes was an issue in the old version, but this, the newer version, 2.59, uh, lets you just select it, so spelling shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Uh, basically what we need to do now is if you have that working you're going to go to level 2 and we are going to delete the maze and you're going to go to add mesh and plane and hit S and 10 and enter and you're going to go into edit mode and we're going to create a new maze alright so let's go back to the default and we'll go back to level 2 here and we're still in edit mode okay so you want to click on subdivide here we go and then the number of cuts on the first one we did 10 so let's do 15 here and hit enter okay and if you don't remember what we did I'm going to hit period on the number pad to zoom in. Once you have it selected like this, you want to click on face select mode and you're going to deselect the ones that you don't want to come up. And once you have that pattern, um, just view it from the side. And you want to hit E and then 2 and enter. Okay, and I won't, since you guys already know how to do that, um, I won't waste your time. So you want to get that set up in level 2, and then make sure that all your items are where you want it to be. I would set up more pickup items in level 2, so that you can um, basically make it harder. Okay, and then once you have that done, uh, just go ahead and file and save and you'll be done with part four of the maze.